My name is Jimena Castillo. I'm the director of the One Station. The project was founded in 1997 uh, when uh, some uh, biologists from Germany, they came in 1994 to make an expedition to rediscover this iguana, which is endemic to the island of Utila. They found out that the species was about to extinction. When they came to make the expedition in the island, they found around 1,000 individuals. We have uh, three main objectives, which are the, um, the breeding, reproduction and breeding of this iguana, uh, the environmental education of the local population, also the tourists that come to visit the center, and um, the research of uh, this iguana, the biology and ecology, and also some of uh, the natural resources of the island. We have some breeding cages here, in the mating season, the males and the females, they uh, copulate during the nesting season. We are collecting the eggs and we incubate them. We are um, incubating around 200 and 300 eggs per year. And um, we have uh, success last year around 95%. We keep like around 50 so they can reach to be juveniles. And uh, when they are one year old, they have like more uh, possibilities to survive in the nature, so we release them uh, one year after. The other part, which is around 150 or 200, uh, they are released in the wild directly after they get born. So probably we are releasing more than 200 and 300 animals uh, every year. And in 2002, there was another counting, and uh, the results were around 6,000 to 8,000 animals and this year we are planning to make another monitoring to see how big is the impact of the project now. It's a very successful program. We have the respect from the community as an environmental organization. We have the support from the municipality. Most important thing is that we save a species from extinction. Of course we have to do so many things to keep going in this direction so we can conserve uh, this population. We have some other threats that this is one facing, like the habitat destruction, because you know the touristic development that the island is facing actually. The urbanistic development is advancing into the natural ecosystems, the mangrove habitat, which is the habitat of this iguana. Also, while well, the local consumption from the local population, I mean the human consumption, they also do the sport hunting and um, the pollution in the nesting sites or the beaches. So there's a lot of environmental education that we have to do to try to transform the mind of the people. It's not like change tradition or culture, it's just work with the children to see what we can do with them. So maybe one day the, the things are going to change.